Hey, it's Alan Simpson. Welcome. Uh, this is a video about connecting custom domains to free Firebase hosting. It's actually like the last lesson in a three-hour course I teach, but obviously if uh, you already have a site out on Firebase, then you don't need the other 14 lessons. So I just put this one out there for those of you who already have a site out there and just having a little trouble connecting a custom domain to it. I can't really give you exact step-by-step -step instructions because how you do it really depends on whether or not you already own your own domain name, who your domain registrar is, but I can give you kind of the ballpark of how it works and I can give you some advice on getting some specifics. Now what I mean by custom domain is, let's say I'm starting here from my site, notice that the domain is Alan Simpson. This is my regular personal site. And I can get to those Firebase things just by clicking a link down here. And when I do, I get the page I want, but it does show this big long URL. Not a big deal. I mean, nobody has to type it in. I could leave it that way. But if you don't want to, there's a couple of ways you can go. If you already have a, a domain name, you could do something like, um, make a subdomain like collections.alansimpson.me. All right, so now I still have the alansimpson.me part, and I just changed the uh, host name to the left of that. So I am have that consistency of keeping my original domain name, just the beginning part is different. Or if you don't have a name already, you can uh, just get a new one, like alan-simpson.com, and point that to it, and that would work too. So either way, you know, either a subdomain of an existing site or a brand new domain will work. In this case, I own alansimpson.com. I wasn't doing anything else with it yet. It was just kind of sitting out there. So I applied it to uh, my Firebase site here. Either way will work, so just feel free to do whichever. And you certainly have the option of doing neither and just keeping the original URL that's in there now. Okay, so first I'll talk about the subdomain method where you're using existing domain and just changing the host name to the left of the domain name. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go back out to Firebase and log in if you're not already logged in and then do your go to console and then your open your project and go to hosting and you'll see up at the top here connect domain all right now you can see I already connected a bunch to mine but when you click that you'll have to type in the domain now this has to be a domain you already own you can't just make one up on the fly here I'll have to put in a fake one to uh, keep it from telling me I already did that one so then it, what, what's going to happen then is going to take you to this um, verify ownership thing where you have to copy this funny looking weird string and you can uh, you know just click that copy and add a txt record a text record to the domain name now for alansimpson.me the hosting provider is bluehost so i would just go out there bluehost.com and you see here's why i can't give you exact directions because I don't know who your hosting provider is. This is just a, an example. Um, how you do it really depends on, you know, where your domain is if you already have it. But I, I want to get out there and go to the domain manager. Okay, and then when I get there, it uh, shows me my domains and I'll choose... Um, alansimpson.me and then I want to go to this DNS zone editor and there I can uh, again I'm still on alansimpson.me I need to add a host record I'll use at for that part of it and the time to live can stay the same this has to be a txt record then I have to paste in that big long string that I got out of Firebase Note that it says DNS changes will take up to four hours for propagation, so you can't expect quick results here. But after I click Add Record, it will go down into this section. Here you can see I added it. 
and have the at and that Google verification. Now you can't really do anything else until Firebase finds that record because that's the only way you can prove that you actually own this domain name. And again, it could take several hours. It could take 24 hours. And you can see how it's propagating by uh, go out to Google and search for uh, DNS uh, space propagation. DNS stands for Domain Name Services. Uh, you can use this one, dnschecker.org. Now, a few hours have gone by, so um, obviously you didn't see that. But if I go to alanasimpson.me txt and search for that, I can see that indeed that Google uh, verification thing has spread around. So um, once the world knows about it, more or less, then you can go back into your Firebase, and they'll tell you to add a couple of A records. Now, your numbers won't be the same as shown here or the names, but the important point is, and you can't even get here until the verify ownership thing is checked, and that's what that TXT record is about. Like I said, that could take many hours. But once you get these two IP addresses these are, then you go back out to your um, domain registrar or your hosting provider in my case. Go right back where you were before in the domain manager and again you want to check the uh, box next to the domain name to which you're, you're working with and click that manage next to DNS zone editor. Okay, so it's exactly as before but this time the host record will be your subdomain name. I'm starting mine with collections and you want the A record, and you want to point to one of those IP addresses that you got out of Firebase, and it has to be exactly right. Don't use mine, use whatever you got, okay? Paste that in here, hit Add Record. I already added mine, so I'm not gonna do that again. And then go grab the other one and do the same thing again, collections and add. So basically what you end up with is two A records, each of which has the same the same host name collections, but each is pointing to a different IP address from the two that Firebase provided you. And again, those are A records, sometimes called host records, so they're in that section. Now there's a good chance you're going to have to wait a day or two for this to fully propagate, so it might not work back in Firebase for a couple days. Again, you can use that DNS checker to see how things are going. So this time I want to check on collections.alansimpson.me A records. And I have waited a couple days, so when I hit search, I do see those IP addresses. Okay, so you want to see the ones that Firebase gave to you, not the ones it gave to me. But once I'm this far now, it doesn't there's no guarantee because another thing they'll do is they'll give it a certificate so your IP address starts with HTTPS. So that can also add a little time to it. But eventually, you should be able to get in there and see it listed like that. And it's a link. You can see it's connected there. And when I click that link, it does indeed take me to my to the correct place for my thing. And the address starts with HTTPS, which is always a good thing. It's better for SEO. And you didn't have to pay for that, which is nice. Okay, next up we'll talk about doing it with a full domain name, something brand new. It's not pointing to anything yet, and that means people can get to it with HTTPS uh, slash slash and then your domain name, and we'll set it up so if they type in the www, which sometimes people do out of habit, that'll work too. Okay, and again, I can't really give you total step-by-step -step instructions because a lot depends on your provider, but the general idea, again, is go into your... Um, hosting area. Then again, you'll click Connect Domain. And you will have to put in a domain name here that you actually own. You don't need the HTTP or anything, just the actual domain name, dot whatever your top level domain is. Then click Continue. And again, you'll get the uh, TXT record. You can click that little copy symbol to copy that. And I get to go out to your domain registrar. And for this one, it is um, nobody's hosting this yet, so it's still at my original location at networksolutions.com. So I have to go out to their site. 
log into my account there and then uh, pick the domain name I want to work with alan-simpson.com hit go here and then again I can um, oh here's this edit advanced DNS records I'll click that and I gotta put that text record in so somewhere down here I should see that uh, there was already two of them in here, so I just clicked that edit text records and uh, pasted in the Google verification thing for both of them right in here. And then down at the bottom, I just click continue, which takes me back to where I was. And now again, we got to wait maybe four hours, maybe longer. Okay, and again, you can use the DNS propagation tool to see how things are going. Now, so far, I've only done the text records, so uh, I want to search for alan-simpson.com, just strictly the domain name, nothing in front of it, and choose TXT here, and it has been many hours, so I expect that those Google ver verifications will show up. Okay, so when that step's done, that proves that I own that domain name, and I go back into Firebase hosting, back into your project, back into hosting, custom domain, and uh, you know set it up and they'll give you two IP addresses. They won't be the same as mine, but uh, the two names will be the same as what you set up already. I'm, I'm using the collections.alansimpson.me name, but so I have to set up two IP addresses for that one name. I'll just copy and paste them out to Notepad real quick here so I don't have to do it uh, later. Okay, now I have to go back out to my domain registrar where I just did the TXT records. And for this domain name, it's Network Solutions. Log into my account and tell it I want to work with alan simpson.com. Then back into this um, edit advanced DNS records. And now I want to do A records. And here's where I can't say exactly what you're going to be faced with. But basically what you want to do is make two records for at, you know, the generic name or no name. One for each of those IP addresses. And then do the same for two copies of www.name. Again, with the two IP addresses. Mine looks like kind of a mess, but it's basically this. So the at none says if they just go to alan-simpson.com or something else, go ahead and send to either of these two IP addresses, which are for the Firebase site. And then again, with www, same thing. Uh, if they put a www in front of it, go ahead and send it to one of these two IP addresses. And that's just because sometimes people put www dot in front. And on the Firebase side, I'll accept that, but then as you see, I redirect it so it knocks that www off. So then I just have to continue after putting in those four A records. And once again, we have to do the uh, waiting game. This one can take 24 to 48 hours. Again, I can check my DNS propagation from time to time to see how it's going. Now I actually did these quite some time ago. So if I check for say alan-simpson.com A records, since I put those in there a while ago, I'll see both those IP addresses for that. And I did the www a while ago too, so I can check that one now too just by sticking the www dot in front of this. Do the search. And again, I see both those fire, Firebase addresses. So, so that tells me that one's good to go. All right, so we go back to Firebase, back to the console, back to the project. I would have just left these open, but, but like I said, these things can take 24 to 48 hours. So I'm coming back much later. Now, I already did my connected my alansimpson.com. And now the redirect is kind of a simple thing. I can't redo it because I already did it. But if you want to do it and you have, you know, you have that www1 set up too, then you would do, uh, like an original one, you start with connect domain, put in that www.version of your 
domain. I can't do it here because I already did it, so I'll use a fake name. But what you'll get is this checkbox down here that says redirect blah, blah, blah. All I have to do is check that and then put in the domain name without the www. Okay, like I said, I can't do it for real here because I already did. Okay, but that's the idea. You put the www one on top, the checkbox is checked, and then the one without the www and click continue. And then in here you see it as a redirect where it's showing you that www uh, redirects to the same domain name without the www. Again, it's not a big deal. Users probably not even going to notice, but just so you understand. So if I go to um, the site with the regular non-WW address, it takes me where I expect it to go because this is all propagated through. But if I go to www. and press enter, I end up at the same exact place, of course, but the redirection also will take that www off so I'm back at the original address. Okay, and like I said, most users probably wouldn't even notice, so don't fret this one. Now, earlier in the course, I mentioned how I actually send people here from my regular website, which isn't on Firebase, and when they click one of these, it takes them to the subset of those collections. People coming from there still see the original URL because that's the URL I sent them to. It won't automatically switch to one of the other um, the main names I've provided here. If I want to send them to one of those other URLs, the actual link they click has to send them to that URL. So I have to go back to that page where I'm sending them from, which is this one, I believe. I have to change all these links to the old collects-firebase address to one of my newer addresses. Um, this is, I'd probably use collections dot alan simpson dot me and that way when they click one of these links then it will still take them to the same place but it'll show this newer url in the address bar all right so i just need to change all those uh do a quick test make sure they're going to work and then i would send that up to my uh, hosting provider okay so that's about it for this course i thank you for watching and i hope it served you well I'll be here for questions and answers, of course. And if you have any suggestions for other courses, let me know. All right, thanks again for watching. My name's Alan Timpson, and I hope to see you around the net.